Hey there folks, Mr. G here with another educational video. This is our second video about earth science and this is going to be another one of those interactive lessons. So again, make sure you have a blank copy of the notes. I'd suggest having them printed off next to you as you're watching this video. And then make sure that you're pausing as we go throughout so that you can add your notes in and try and answer the questions before we go over them together. By doing this, you're going to be trying to engage with the material, see if you can answer the question before I just tell you the answers. Now to start off today, what I'd like you to do is actually open a different YouTube video, the one in the link right here. So you can find this in the electronic version of the notes on Teams, or you can just type this in. And uh, as you're watching this, you can turn on transcripts. So if you want to see what they're talking about, so closed captioning as well as the transcripts, you can also adjust the playback speed so you can have it playing back slower. That might help you sort of get the information down because it can go a little bit quickly. As you're watching the video, add some point form notes. So in the space below, write down any terms or definitions you think are important. You can also look at some of the pages that are later in the notes if you'd like to see what we're going to be talking about today. So pause the video here, open the other one, and add a few points or little ideas that you think might be coming up as we go through the notes today. So you probably wrote down a number of different things. Uh, here are some key ideas that I think would be good to include. The layers of the earth, the idea of Pangea, the dikes and the fossil evidence for it, different types of plate boundaries, things like lithosphere, asthenosphere, and all those other different parts, crust, mantle, core, all those different layers of the earth. Now take a moment right now, read through this next page, look at the different layers of the earth that were brought up in the video here, and try and answer these questions on this page with this diagram. So answer these three questions here, and we'll go over them in just a moment. Pause the video, do some reading, and try and answer the questions. All done? All right, so let's look at this first one here. We've got these words up at the top that we're trying to label on the bottom here. So if we look at part A, we can see that this is the part that is on our land. So we know that this is going to be our continental crust. So part A here is our continental crust. Part B here, we can see that it's made up of our continental crust and the upper part of our mantle here. So this is going to be a combination of our crust and our mantle. We know that this is called our lithosphere. So this is the part that's made up of our crust and then just the first bit of our mantle. Part C, we can see that this is just like part A, except for instead of being on land, this is our ocean. So this is going to be our oceanic crust. That's the, the bottom part of our ocean, the land under our ocean. Now part D here, so this is kind of the lower part, the upper part of our mantle and the lower part of our mantle. So this is just the mantle itself. So the upper and lower part. And E here, the inner part of our mantle. So this is our sticky, sticky taffy, the stuff that can slide around. This is what we call our asthenosphere. So this is the stuff that our lithosphere floats on top of. So our lithosphere is what makes up our tectonic plates. Our asthenosphere is sort of the liquid that it's floating on top of and what causes it to move around. So our tectonic plates are composed of which parts of the Earth's layers? We just talked about this. It's going to be our lithosphere, which is the upper crust, so part A and C here, as well as the upper part of our mantle, this kind of light brown section right here. So everything that's taken up by B. Now we talked about two different types of tectonic plates. They were our continental and our oceanic plates. We saw them up in our picture. And our continental plates are made of granite mostly. They're less dense and they tend to be thicker. We can see that definitely from our picture here, that they're thicker than our oceanic plates. And that makes sense. The mountains and the land are above the ocean, so they'd have to be thicker. Our oceanic plates are usually made of uh, rock like basalt. They're denser and they tend to be a little bit thinner, as we can see again in our picture. Now take a moment and use your hands to model these plate boundaries. So we have three different types. We have our divergent, convergence, and transform plate boundary. So try this simulation for yourself, just using your hands right now so that you understand what's happening at each of these plate boundaries, because they are quite different. Read through the notes here and line them up with this activity. So pause the video right now and do that. So hopefully this will let you see the three different types here, where we're converging, just like our convergent lens coming together, diverging, moving apart, and then transform is our sort of our weird one. They slip and slide past each other, one moving forward, one moving backwards. 
Now we can read about the different geological features that each of these plate boundaries can create. So read through the next two pages here and then answer the questions at the bottom. There are some optional Khan Academy videos that I think would help see, let you see some of these uh, geological features and how they can cause these different, uh, how they can be caused by different plate boundaries. So I would really encourage you to watch these two videos, especially if you're having a hard time visualizing this or you really like to see things that are moving and not just static pictures. So read through the notes, watch these two videos if you'd like, then answer the questions. So pause the video right now. All right, let's chat about this. So what is subduction and when does it occur? Well, subduction is when we have convergent boundaries and it's where our more dense plate sinks beneath, beneath the less, less dense plate. So this is what happens oftentimes when we have an oceanic and continental crust plate meeting together. Our denser one, which is our oceanic crust, will sink below our continental crust. And we can see that in our picture right here. Here we see our convergent boundary and we see this plate being subducted, basically pushed under. So what type of plate boundary gives us both continental rifts and mid-ocean ridges? And if they are both created by the same type of plate boundary, how come we get two geological features from the same type of plate boundary? Well, this happens at divergent boundaries. A rift or a mid-ocean ridge is where our crust separates. So our mid-ocean ridge is happening in the middle of an ocean. We get our magma coming up, cooling, and forming some new rock. For our rifts, this is where we have divergent boundaries, and we get some crust that falls into the middle. So our crust falls in to form a rift valley. So a continental rift can only occur, occur on uh, continental crust, so when our plates diverge on continental crust. Our mid-ocean ridges is when this happens beneath the ocean, on our oceanic crust. Take a moment right now, try and answer the last questions on this page here. Pause the video. You might need to go up, re-watch some of these Khan Academy videos, and look through the notes here to help you answer these questions. Then we'll go over them together in just a moment. So for our three different types of plates boundaries, convergent, divergent, and transform, is our crust created or destroyed? And provide an explanation. So at our divergent boundaries, so separating, we're getting new crust because our seafloor is spreading. Our convergent, we're actually getting the opposite. Our crust is being destroyed because one plate is being subducted and basically melts back into the asthenosphere. Our transform, our crust is neither created nor destroyed. They're kind of just sliding past one another. And this balance of being created and destroyed means that the surface of our Earth, Earth isn't getting bigger or smaller. Looking at our diagram here, this is our one from subduction. So what is represented in this diagram? It's subduction. We can see one plate going beneath another. And this is where a trench or a volcano can be formed. So we've got a deep ocean trench here, and sometimes this will also form volcanoes. So let's try and write a caption for the diagram. So this one, we could say something like a convergent boundary between an oceanic and a continental plate. And the result is that our oceanic place subducts beneath the continental plate, creating a deep ocean trench as well as volcanoes. So given the name and the diagram, what do you think our deep ocean trench looks like? It's going to be a very deep valley. A trench, that's like a valley here. And we can see that it's even kind of bending downwards like this. So it's a very, very deep part of the ocean. So how would the deep ocean trench cause our volcanoes to form? Well, as this rock is being pulled down by our subducting plate, our volcanoes form where our rock melts and this pressure from the extra rock pushes the magma up to the surface. We'll learn a little bit more about volcanoes later, but this subducting crust being melted back in, there's extra volume here and it's going to cause more pressure as this is sort of pushing downwards and this can cause this small pocket of magma to be pushed up to the surface. So can we explain the relationship between divergent boundaries and sea floor spreading? Well, yeah, they are related to one another because our sea floor spreading occurs at divergent boundaries. But the important thing is this only happens when we have two oceanic plates. It doesn't happen for continental plates. That's the end of our video here. Please make sure you check Teams for any other updates, homework, assignments, or any other announcements. And I will see you all in the next video.